Hey YouTube. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a little plan update. Here's um one of my ghost peppers I saved from the quar um that was killing it. I repotted it in that little cup right there and it come back and started growing all this new growth. This plant right here is like three months old and it still looks like a little seedling plant. I finally put it in this big pot right here and I'll keep it in my little grow tent all winter long see if I can get some peppers inside I doubt it'll work but I got some cherry tomato seeds in there somebody gave me I'm gonna try them out and I don't really care about for tomatoes any but um, this is a little germination tent I don't know if y'all seen this last time or not but it had these little pellets in it I don't know if you can see that right there and I didn't like them. It still kept killing my pepper seeds. So I filled it with pot and soil and separated it with cardboard. And just redneck engineered it, really. Um, I got two ghost peppers right here. You see that one is coming up. These are from my seeds. I was testing my seed germination. So I really ain't worried if they grow or not. Um, but I was just wanting to see how my seeds would sprout. And um, so far, I've gotten 100% germination on my ghost peppers. Um... There's a Carolina Reaper seed, HP-22B, bought from um, Pepper Joe. It ain't sprouted yet, but it's only been in there for about a week. So I figure by the end of next week, I'll have a little Reaper plant coming up. I got a Jamaican hot chocolate right there by the toothpick. Um, it, it, it sprouted, and I, I, put, I planted it. I sprouted it in um, this little jar, and I, this little sour cream jug, and I'll show you what that is in a second. And this is another one I had. It's already popped up. That's the first one I've had that's actually looked like it's going to live pretty good. So we shall see. Um, now here's this thing. I got some more ghost pepper seeds in here. I just put in here maybe two days ago. Out of another batch of seeds I dried. I'm going to test the germination rate on them. So like I said, if they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. Um, but so far I've had 100% on the first batch of seeds I've germinated. I got a ghost pepper in there and it's germinated. It just ain't popped out up above the dirt yet. Let's see if I can find it. Alright. See there it is right there. Um, and then there's that one. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Right there by my huge white finger. So yeah that's all for in here. Um, y'all, y'all might not really care about this. I'm about tired of it. Pineapple. Um, it has a lot of roots on it, and I had it planted in that bucket right there. But I think the soil was too thick. I think you got to have sandy soil for a pineapple. So I'm gonna try to replant it in sandy soil. I mean, the, this leaf right here is growing for sure. But um, I think yeah, I think it'd grow better in sandy soil. So we're gonna try that. I don't know if I showed y'all, but I finally bought me a bottle of that stuff, and I like it so far. It's great. It, it works pretty good. I'm going to um, go out on the porch and show y'all my overwinter plants, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This here is my um, ghost pepper that I'm overwintering. As you can see, it's just growing. I'll, everywhere I cut it off, it has new stems coming out already. Um, I said a few weeks ago on a video that frost was about here and I have a feeling that I mean it's just about to hit but right now it feels like it's about 70 80 degrees out here where I'm at but at night it's getting down into the low 40s so frost ain't too long away I don't think but then again it might not happen the next month you can't never tell and this here is a big gym that I was overwintering and it's already starting to pot up again so I don't know what's up with that. I ain't too worried about that one. I didn't like the big gems that much anyway. This here is um, supposed to be a seven pod I have from the Rasta Rick. And I don't know if y'all could see that pod right there. But to me, it kind of looks like a brain strain. And I've had one that got um, messed up, bu a bug dug, dug in it. And I picked it and cut the seeds open. I mean, cut the seeds out of it, and the own um, pod, when it's ripe, it is orange. Like, pumpkin orange. It's real, real neat. I ain't never seen an orange brain strain looking pepper before. And if y'all have, y'all let me know. 
I'm gonna walk over here. I ain't gonna cut the video. So y'all got to deal with me walking. Y'all might be interested in my compost pile. It's all breaking down and looking good, so I might be able to use it before next season. A bunch of tomatoes are sprouting down there. I don't even want them. They just decided to come up. All right, here's the one that was my biggest ghost pepper. And finally, the pod started turning on it. That was the first one that started turning. That one started today. I don't know if y'all could see that, but the top of it's orange. And I just seen another one when I don't walk down here. I don't know where it's at, but I seen one while ago it's turning too. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Right there. I think y'all can see that one a little bit better. This is my other ghost pepper plant. I ain't none of them on this one turning so far that I've seen, but so I got some nice pods on there. And if y'all want any pot, ghost pepper pods or seeds, y'all just let me know. And I'll try to send y'all out some. I got plenty of um, pods. Uh, y'all ain't even... Those are the jalapenos. They're all about dead. I ain't worried about them. But, um... Yeah, that's about the end of my update. Uh, there's a side view of them. Along with the dog. But, yeah, those are my biggest ghost pepper plants. I'm still trying to figure out a way to save them without digging them up. Because they're in them buckets that's in the ground. I, do, I, I cut the... I think I explained this in one of my videos. I cut the bottom out of a bucket and dug a hole and buried the bucket. And it seemed to work pretty good for me this year. I don't know if it would have made a difference. But these plants are way bigger than the ones I had down there in the garden. So maybe it makes a difference. But that's about it. So y'all rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I hope to have some pepper pod reviews coming up. Um, I've been talking to some people and supposed to be getting some pods so maybe y'all get to see me suffer some and like I said if y'all want some of these pods y'all just let me know and I'll try to get them out to you so um alright I'll let y'all go talk to y'all later